Ribbon Clean Sky 2 project has been targeted at developing an innovative modular low-cost stamping die to manufacture metallic parts for aerospace industry, specifically, aluminium wing ribs for the outer external wings of the FTB2 demonstrator. Ribbon is part of Outcome Bigger project in which the topic manager, Technalia, has worked on the development of hot stamping manufacturing technology. This technology permits to form high-yield strength materials, like aluminium, making it possible to get more lightweight and integrated parts in a competitive way. Transferring hot stamping technology from the automotive sector to the aerospace uh, it's not something that can be done straight away. On the one hand, the typical materials that are stamped for automotive are very different from the typical materials that are stamped for aerospace. The other factor that's uh, a big difference between aerospace and automotive is production volume. Aerospace parts manufacturing process has lower production volumes and shorter stamping cycles than automotive parts manufacturing. Therefore, stamping tools suffer lower wear and less thermal fatigue. This opens the window for new tooling materials of higher machinability and lower toughness, leading to significant savings associated to the use of materials of higher properties and the manufacturing of demanding designs regarding the implementation of subcutaneous cooling systems. An extensive study developed within Ribbon concluded that nodular cast iron meets the requirements for this work. It also offers other benefits, it has a high thermal conductivity and its graphite content offers a lubricant effect during the stroke. This material had not been applied for hot stamping complex geometries before. The specific aluminium alloy to be formed was also a challenging factor for the researcher team. The biggest challenge for BAT in this project was the aluminium alloy with this uh, new application for us, at least in the aerospace uh, industry. We counted with the collaboration of Asterlan in this project to define all the process parameters and the best combinations of uh, tool materials and coatings. And we used all the, that knowledge to define a simulation material. With these uh, simulations, we finally defined a tool surface that later on, on the tryout phase, we found out was not as uh, optimized as it could be. And we needed several optimization loops to define the final tool surface, which allowed uh, the stamping of a part within the tolerances required for this project. Finally, the modularity demand has been achieved by getting left and right wing grips in a same stroke. Ribbon project has received funding from the Clean Sky 2 joint undertaking under the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme under Grant Agreement No. 755,493.